Well, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement will soon rely on science to help them determine claims of family units. Channel 5's Christian Golan tells us DHS will soon start testing DNA. ICE will soon begin to do cheek swaps to test immigrants' DNA. This is a pilot program. For now, Gaby Pileta and her six-year-old daughter Vanessa wait until it's time to hop on a bus to Oregon. Their native land is over 1,300 miles away in Cuba. Está bien difícil, eh, producto del gobierno, y nada, me aceptaron. Vanessa and her mom seek asylum. Vanessa hopes to be united with her dad. Gaiva had to prove to United States officials they were related. She provided birth certificates, contact information, and addresses. El pasaporte, porque eh, el pasaporte allá desde Cuba, para tú sacarle el pasaporte allá, ella tiene que tener el permiso de su papá y de su mamá. Si no, no le puede sacar el pasaporte. Y entonces para sacar la niña del país, también hay que tener el permiso de su papá y de su mamá, si no, no la puede sacar del país. Pileta also showed her Cuban passport. She had all the proof she needed. But ICE will soon seek more. Those suspected of fraudulently claiming to be parents will undergo a DNA test. DHS officials say it will be a test that's limited and voluntarily. Channel 5 News spoke to a human genetics professor about what a DNA test could determine. It is the molecule where all the information about what makes us human is written. Actually, that's true for any life form. So DNA is where the real information about what makes us us is available. From hair color, height, to a risk of disease, this can all be determined from one's DNA. In DNA testing, two individuals are tested. Either saliva or blood can be used, since they both contain your cells. Cells are found throughout the human body. So you use these differences amongst individuals, and you can precisely detect them in the laboratory, and then you can compare two bits of individuals, two, you can compare two individuals, and you basically quantify how much sharing there is between the individuals. The test usually compares two individuals' DNA. A person's DNA has over six billion bits of information. Half of that information is passed down to a biological child. So to prove that someone is the parent, the test should show half of the parent's same information found. For Pileta, she says she would have accepted a DNA test. Blanjero says DNA testing is extremely accurate other than human and laboratory error. ICE officials say the results will take about two hours. The location along the border where the test will be happening is not being disclosed at this time. In the studio, Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 6.